turmeric has been used for many, many decades in Chinese and Indian medicines. But in recent years, it has become more popular in Western cultures as well for medicinal purposes, with one of the main claims that it is supposed to reduce inflammation which could be helpful for osteoarthritis. So in today's video, we're gonna have a chat about what the evidence tells us about the use of turmeric for osteoarthritis and whether it's something that we should be considering if we have osteoarthritic joint pain. Hey there, if this is the first time we've met them, welcome to Genuine Physio. My name is Luke Skembry. I'm a physiotherapist in the UK with a special interest in osteoarthritis. If you would like to know more about osteoarthritis and how to manage your symptoms better at home, then hit the subscribe button to make sure you get notified every time I release a new video about osteoarthritis, which I do every single week. Now it's curcumin that is the main compound found in turmeric that is supposed to have all of these positive health benefits. And it's closely related to the family of ginger. Now, it is a polyphenol, which is a micronutrient found in plants. And it's one of the reasons that it's so important to eat lots of fruit and veg in your diet, because this polyphenol contains lots of goodness that's associated with antioxidants and anti-inflammation. Now, it's fairly obvious why anti-inflammatory chemicals are good in the body, because they help to neutralize inflammatory chemicals. But why are antioxidants helpful? Well, antioxidants help to neutralize free radicals and free radicals are a byproduct of metabolism and they are an unstable molecule that can interact with many other molecules. And they're associated with causing an increased risk of many chronic health problems, things like cardiovascular disease, cancer, cataracts, and inflammatory conditions like osteoarthritis as well. Not only is turmeric said to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, it's also said to be helpful for diabetes, wound healing, and gut health as well. A 2019 study compared the effectiveness and safety of curcumin versus diclofenac for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. And diclofenac is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. They compared 139 patients and one group of patients got 500 milligrams of curcumin three times a day. And one group got diclofenac 50 mg twice a day and both groups of individuals saw an improvement in their knee osteoarthritis. It was concluded that curcumin had a similar level of efficacy in the treatment for knee osteoarthritis to that of diclofenac and really importantly it was said that curcumin was tolerated a lot better than the anti-inflammatories and this is really important because Anti-inflammatories do have side effects and are often not tolerated well by certain people. In conjunction with that, a lot of people are not allowed to take them because they uh, are contraindicated with other conditions. So things like high blood pressure and cardiac issues, things like asthma or certain liver and kidney problems mean that you can't have anti-inflammatories. And we also know that some of these things are a risk factor for osteoarthritis. A further study in Australia looked at turmeric against placebo for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. So for 12 weeks, they gave one group 1,000 milligrams per day of turmeric and the other group they gave a placebo to. And by the end of the 12 week period, the group that had taken the turmeric supplement had seen more improvement in their knee pain and their knee symptoms than the placebo group. And this is really important because placebo is very powerful and it can improve your symptoms quite dramatically. What we believe and expect has a huge impact on what we experience. And in a lot of studies involving supplements compared to placebo, a lot of the time both groups improve quite well and they do see improvements in their knee pain or joint pain. But this implies that that improvement is more down to a placebo than the supplement itself. So it is very interesting to see that turmeric outperforms placebo in this study. One final study looked at comparing the use of turmeric against ibuprofen, another non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. 107 people were split up into two groups. One were given two grams of turmeric and the other group were given 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every single day for six weeks. Both groups saw similar levels of improvement in their walking abilities and climbing the stairs and also the general function of their knee. 
the turmeric group found that their pain improved more when climbing the stairs than the group taking ibuprofen. And interestingly, adherence was better taking the ibuprofen than the turmeric. Lastly, side effects in contrast to the other study were found to be a similar level. So they were very minimal, they weren't too dangerous, mainly sort of heartburn and dizziness was felt in both groups at a very similar level. So where does that leave us in terms of recommending turmeric for osteoarthritis? Well, it's important to know that in the UK, it's not a recommended treatment for osteoarthritis as yet. And I think that's mainly because there is limited evidence to suggest that it works, at least high quality evidence. We often find that when it comes to supplements, the evidence that is completed, the research that's done is either a very low quality or has a strong bias because it's often completed by the manufacturers that are making these products. With this in mind, it's still somewhat ambiguous with regards to the dose that we should be taking, how much and how many times a day, and whether we should be taking turmeric or the curcumin extract and which is most effective. However, after what we've discussed today, there certainly seems to be some growing evidence for its use for people with osteoarthritis. And this certainly makes sense with regards to its anti-inflammatory properties, its antioxidant properties, as well. And we've also mentioned that it's not just potentially beneficial for osteoarthritis, it could help with other conditions too, like atherosclerosis, heart disease, blood pressure, and cholesterol. So the advice would be maybe take a common sense approach. Try it for a few months, see if it works for you, and if it does, continue. And if it doesn't, you may want to think of something slightly different. If you are watching this video because you do have osteoarthritis, then this is just a quick note to say, I have recently put a completely free osteoarthritis ebook together for you, going through how you can manage your symptoms better at home without the need for injections and surgery. So if that does sound of interest, you can find a link to the ebook in the description below the video. I would love to hear from you if you have tried turmeric for your osteoarthritis. So please do let me know in the comment section below whether it helped you or not. If you have liked the video, then please do like it. And if you're new, subscribe so you get notified every time I release new osteoarthritis related help, which is every single week. And it also helps the channel grow as well. So more people see the content that hopefully you found helpful. So whilst you're doing that, I'll see you in the next one.